Hi everyone, my name is David with Chorby Lawn Care Services and I just wanted to kind of talk to you today about something that we see really common here and it's, just, it's definitely hot outside, everybody's feeling the heat, especially your grass. Um, you know, one of the key things that a lot of people are concerned about is when they see brown patches popping up in their lawn and they're worried that they may have uh, insect damaging the yard or disease taking over the yard. But another thing that a lot of people don't quite realize that is actually really prevalent is heat stress. So here we are looking at a section of grass right here and you can see this grass right here seems to be doing pretty well. It's nice and green, it's healthy, it's got good spring to it. But right off to the side here, you can see we have some grass that's definitely feeling some heat stress. For disease damage, it's pretty simple. We're just gonna peel it apart and we're gonna look down here for uh, you know signs of uh, rotting or different kinds of uh, disease. Typically, there'll be a lot of brown. It'll be very wet, kind of milky almost down around the base of it. That's a sign of kind of disease in most cases. And then for grubs and insects, what grubs are doing is eating the roots of the grass. So you should be able to just grab a good handful of it and pull up and this should just peel away very easily, almost like lifting a, the corner of a doormat. It's not peeling up at all. So that tells me that the root structure is healthy, it's strong, it's holding the grass to the ground, and what we're dealing with is heat stress. A big contributor to that, the area that we're in right now is what we call a parkway. It's the section of grass between the sidewalk and the street. And so on both sides of this grass, there's concrete, which absorbs sunlight and heat and holds on a lot faster and a lot longer than your grass does. And because of that, you're getting what we call irradiated heat, warming this area up quicker than other areas. Hopefully, you know, today's video has been able to provide a little bit more insight into how we determine whether you have heat stress or versus insect or grub damage. And maybe you can even look at your yard yourself. As always, keep in mind that heat stress is a very common part of North Texas summers, especially when our temperatures get up into the triple digit mark. The best thing to do though, is just remember that heat stress is normal, your grass is very resilient, and once it cools off, it usually comes right back. Continue to stay the course, uh, water according to the recommendations that you're given, your grass will be okay come fall.